Good evening from Hidden History out tonight for exclusive location two this week. And we're quite lucky to be given some, uh, some access into the Shorts Tunnels in Medway. So uh, a brief history into uh, the Shorts Tunnels is that the, uh, the Short brothers were responsible for um, an aviation factory uh, and produced air part or aircraft parts for um, seaplanes in the First World War to begin with and were responsible for also creating aircraft in the Second World War. More noticeably the Short Sterling, which was a four engine bomber uh, that was produced uh, in a factory that used to sit above here. It's now a housing estate, but the tunnel still exists below ground. Um, these were made by the Shorts brothers for their employees of the company uh, and used as a safe haven uh, during the blitz and bombing runs of uh, the Second World War. So this is a huge site, a four mile tunnel network and uh, Stay tuned for a really, really good night. So uh, we hope you all enjoy. So guys, we're um, we're just having a look along the many different tunnels that lead off as part of the uh, the short tunnels here in Midway, or more noticeably Rochester. This is definitely the latest night tour we've been on but uh, we've been told that it's got to be done under the cover of darkness and therefore uh, we're out on a bit of a late excursion tonight so yeah that's stunning no smoking by order love it you get a real sense for an air raid tunnel environment down here and these are one of the few gems that lay untouched. I've heard lots of stories about original graffiti as well being inside these. I mean, oh, look at that. Wow. Pretty sure that's but There's some there too. Like I said, guys, responsible for producing aviation and aircraft parts. A little game someone's been playing. <laughs> Amazing. It's absolutely littered with it in here as well. Let me just take a moment to steady up this camera. We must be crazy tonight coming out. Such a late one. I think it's roughly about 10 o'clock at night now. Look at that, Dave. The hair shaft number three. That's lovely, that, isn't it? Mm. Keep clear of gate. That gives you a right sense for the wall. Exit number six. Ladies' lavatory, look at that. That's time stood still there. Lovely. That looks too pleasant in there either. Ladies, come on now. Look after yourselves. Oh, we've got to get through that, have we? Just other plywood debris. What? Yep, just uh, oh. that. How's everyone, alright? It's just tunnel after tunnel, isn't it? It's amazing. What the gate? Look at that gate. Guys. <coughs> I'm out with a few guys that I met on Sunday. So we're joined tonight by David Scott, Brian Mason, Jamie Such, William Fleming, and David Cripps, who runs Urban Explorer South East, and Karen Greasy. So, yeah. It's a good tour. It's a rare location. If anything, I'm just going to just pan around so you can have a look at this gate again. It's absolutely stunning. 
Look at that. Quite unique in the layout as well. You see like a corrugated part here, lined with brickwork either side. So most deep shelters, although used for a different purpose, are, uh, are a bit of a different layout. So this is, uh, it's got its own unique feature. It's not even remotely like Henley's. Yeah, it's very own characteristics. Just following the main tunnel at the minute. Just trying to steady up that camera for you guys. It's a bit uneven the floor here, so. Other little uh, sub-rooms leading off. One tunnel after another, really. Quite amazing. Here's Dave with the equipment, look at that. All prepared. What's up, Dave? First day box number 15. When you see things like this, it's just like time stood still completely. It's like, could have been an air raid yesterday, you know what I mean? So nice to find. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, this is epic so far. I like yeah, all yeah. the ammunition cases and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so have a little zoom. Just to give you a sense of the depth for some of these other sub tunnels. Yeah. I'll just put it back in the bag to get out. Stay there and I'll use your stay one. You're rolling me one, aren't you? What do you think, guys? Yeah. Jamie and Will taking some pictures. That's going to be the same lens. It's the same as this fucking tool. Boys? Right. <laughs> right. Enjoying it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at that, look. So it'll still be in there at 6 o'clock in the morning, this, right? This yeah. Leave yeah. straight here to work. Yeah, this is what I want. Yeah, this ain't like anything else, is it? This is just amazing. Which way? Left? Uh, we're, yeah, we're all going down here. No worries. We've got Dave to thank tonight for this really special location, so cheers for that. <laughs> like you do. Again, guys, the sense of the scale. Absolutely amazing. Easy to get lost in here as well, guys. Very easy. We see uh, some of the wooden ceiling is completely given my God, didn't it just go on and on? Yeah? Was it a dead end up there? Yeah. Did it end up there? Yeah, yeah. I've been down this side. Welcome to the video. I'm going to the door, mate. Let's go and have a look at the door. Yeah. Have you been the other side? Huh? This hole's a little bit more manageable. <laughs> now I'm lonesome, all on my own, in this dead end part. Just imagine, guys, the stories that this place could tell you. Quite unlike anything. They've got a, a characteristic of their own, these ones. Uh, yeah, here we come to a sealed door. 
which people have tried getting in before. You can see someone's trying to prise that away. Hello. All right, Brian. A nice sealed door there. All right, I'm just going to try and straighten this camera up again, guys. It's a bit better. <coughs> a very, very nice network, this. Possibly uh, one of the largest I've been to. Henley's was quite a large network as well, in Gravesend. But I believe this will be the largest. I like when holes in the wall uh, are that big, that's for sure. Easy to get lost in here though, right? Okay. Lavatory again. Maybe gents this time. We did see the ladies' lavatory. Out on a school night as well, folks. It's a bit unlike me. I tend to save this hobby for the weekends, but yeah. Hello, my man. Keep going for your video. This is a very special location in Dover. <laughs> Nice one, Dave. Everything's in Dover, guys. Remember that. Everything's in Dover. We give no location away. You can all be found in Dover. <laughs> Cabling hanging from the ceiling. Not getting in the way of that. Probably not live, but you just don't want to take no chance. These are nice and manageable, so uh, yeah, happy about that. Quite modern as well, funnily enough. Oh, what we got up here, anything? These have got to be late though. Oh, look at the keep doors closed on the back, that's cool. Nice. There's a lot of debris in here guys, a lot of stuff lying about on the floor, so occasionally the camera's going to be jittery. But that's just to the simple fact that the ground and the terrain in here is not practical in any way, shape or form. So I haven't got the world's best balance either, so don't be surprised if I go arse over tit at some point in the evening. Just taking a nice slow walk through it. I like to appreciate every ounce of it and uh, and almost trance my, myself back into the time of uh, the 1940s when these were actively used as an air raid shelter for the employees of the Shorts Brothers Company. And when those sirens were sounded, the employees would have made their way down from the factory and accommodate in this air raid shelter. It's a four mile long tunnel network. That gives you a sense of just how many employees were working at Shorts Brothers in that time.
Just to look at a view like that here on the corner, guys. Exit number four and five. That's just stunning to look at, absolutely. To the right. To the right. <laughs> <laughs> a bit uneven there. Men's lavatory, here we go. Did find the ladies back there. Here's the men's. A little bit worn. That's nice. Oh, look at that, look. It's a central first aid station. Down this way, folks. And the British Red Cross. Lovely. Down there, mate. Yeah, I'm just gonna make my way down there as well. In the crossroads here of a tunnel junction. Just a bit of sense of scale. It's the tunnel I've just come from. Absolutely lovely. Let's tail the guys up in this one. To the central first aid station, guys. And uh, you find in a lot of air raid tunnels there was a f allocated areas for first aid. And obviously uh, justified as well, you know. People were rushing to a safe haven in the event of an air raid and uh, injuries would have been sustained for sure. So uh, really important that first aid was present in it. Lined also with a lot of lavatories. There's a lot of people down here and, uh, and there needed to be plenty of those, so. Look at this guy, some racking. Just uh, laying here. Not quite sure about the, uh, what we have here though. Just weaving my way through this. More racking. After I've finished filming, guys, I'm going to uh, do some still pictures so uh, we can take some of that back with us. Tonight is all about documenting this location. This is not often this one becomes available. Yeah, a bit of collapsing going on there. The old gates. Look at that. You'll probably get a better image of that on my return. They're well and truly off, <laughs> leaving man behind. Bit of a weave through this, guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was just about to turn back. back. <laughs> Lovely, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to come back and take loads of still pictures, mate. I'm just uh, concentrating on the filming for this part. And then... You join yourself, Will? Yes, mate. Good. Are you? I'm loving it, mate. Like, like a kid in a sweet shop. As I say, I'm like pig in shit. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got in there then? Plant room or something? This looks very new. Oh, like modern. This is a new shield. Yeah. Could well have been reused at yes. some point. Yeah, just tread carefully, mate. It's a bit mucky, isn't it? This is new to me, this bit. Not been in this bit, no. It's fucking soft in here, man. 
What is that? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What is that? Yeah, it's recent. Just going to pause the video for a minute, guys. My arm's killing me, and uh, I've been holding it now for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to give that a break, and uh, we'll return again soon. So stay tuned. Welcome back, guys. Thought we'd return to another little bit of filming as we've uh, been taking some still pictures, having a bit of a break. Can take its toll on your arm when you've been carrying this for 20 minutes. The Shorts Tunnels are certainly a really good location and uh, incredibly large. I can't believe how big they are, to be fair. It's quite impressive. Yeah, that's what it looks like 9. Lovely. It's got a fair amount of uh, original graffiti in here, isn't it? You'll see from some of the pictures that I've taken, guys, um, you've got pictures of Hitler, pictures of Spitfires and bombers. Now, bombers were produced in these... Uh, in these tunnels and in fact in the shadow factory that was positioned above. So, um, yeah, you know, it's the uh, presence of aviation in this surrounding area uh, would have been unprecedented of its time. By the Second World War, they'd really perfected uh, attack from the air, an aerial bombardment. So uh, to produce on a scale like this would have been fundamental uh, in achieving victory against the Germans. Favourite locations today in this, guys. Really impressive. What's the Pilcher? Yeah, possibly a bomb or something. Or... Pilcher, that's a really old name. They've got uh, some of my family I've traced back, they've got Pilcher in it. Ten generations back. <laughs> Not quite sure that's ten generations old, but an infinite tunnel, guys, just keeps going and going. Because this uh, location is so secretive and uh, really rare to gain access to, uh, we won't be posting this video on social media, but it will be amongst our private explorers. Who have got a real value and, uh, and passion and love for the past. So. That's stunning, look at that. This is what I mean about pure graffiti, guys. Nice. Second World War plane. Beautiful. You see also uh, a lot of noughts and crosses here, uh, other little games that people have been playing to kill the time. Um, is this the shrine, is it? Someone that came exploring this place. 
It's kind of like that little window area we're trying to make for it. Like. Someone's been drawing. That's a good one, actually. Did you see these ones? <laughs> Look what that is. Remember what tunnel we see that in? But yeah. it was carving. It looks similar, didn't it, in uh, Wind Chelsea? Wind yeah. Chelsea, yeah. I don't know what someone's uh, attempted to draw there. Someone with his um, yeah, cock and bollocks yeah. out. Granny's got to get her gun. Yeah, I is that another one? Yeah, that's number plane. I saw that one. I saw that one. Did you see that one? You see here, guys, where people have been uh, working out equations, uh, noughts and crosses, just to kill time, really. Amazing. Stunning. Wow. You got some more there, have you? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> There's lots of it, guys. Lots of uh, period graffiti, pictures. Um, that was quite nice as well. A nice memorial shrine to uh, an explorer who used to come in these tunnels. So it's uh, a nice. Uh, a nice thought, really. It's through people like ourselves uh, that keep their memory alive of these places, so uh, it's forgotten history below your feet, and unless a story's been told, people don't know any different, so, yeah, it's important. What you found? Oh, look at these there. And they've even got the uh, the Royal Air Force standard as well, look. Let's get a snap of that, actually. Nice Try and shine your head torch away from it, David. What it does, it brightens it up too much. Nice picture of a mouse peak type thing there. Whatever that is. <laughs> it's one there. See that? They, they could be war planes, but some of the top one looks like a later plane. You've had other attempts being made there. That's a swastika. A swastika. Oh, Maybe really? a German plane. Yeah, it's a German plane. That's some more. Hey, hey, hey. the old British flag. What's that then? A couple of mice, isn't it? Smoky mice. There's loads of it in there, isn't it? Wow. Jesus. It's hard to um hard to put into words just how much there is. It's trying to capture it all and we know that this is probably the one and only visit that we're going to get to do it in so capturing as much of this as possible is fundamental really so I'm going to um, just spin round and see if I can get a Oh, we came past, did we come past this bit? Or is this another part of it? Not sure. All looks very similar though, didn't it? I think it would be tough to document all of this in one visit. There's so much. You got some more of you? What have we got? Oh, we've had like an etched in plane here. Just trying not to get that um, selfie stick shadow in. I've actually got there what looks like a, a soldier. There's quite a few here. Possibly a, a Gurkha looking soldier, that one. Wow, well, we've got you. You see how prominent the, the pictures of uh, planes are? It's because obviously of the aviation history this place has got.
They really, really do love the fact, and they're probably quite proud of the fact that they're building uh, air defence for the British. And so they should as well, lest we forget. Just spin round and uh, give you a bit of a view from where we've just come from. Certainly got, certainly got a fair bit, amount of footage from this one. And uh, I'll take a little snippets here and there, so I'm going to try and piece it all together. About halfway through it, yeah? <laughs> That's unreal. I've shot the best part of uh, half an hour's footage and that's not even scratching the surface. So. Where's that? That's it. Oh wow. Just the outline of the face there guys, behind me. Cozy corner. Yeah. Some crosses, guys. Okay. Well, I'm just going to uh, cut that footage out, guys, and um, give my arm a break. So we'll return shortly, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next part. Welcome back, guys. So uh, we've just come to another tunnel deviation, and um, apparently we're heading down one continually straight tunnel. So I thought I'd roll footage while we do that. Where, what have we got here? 1944. Look at that, guys. Hope you're enjoying the video, guys. We're certainly enjoying the location. And I hope that reflects in our content uh, of this video. There's quite possibly um, a reason that we could post this when these tunnels become closed and sealed but in the meantime um, any information surrounding what we're doing here is strictly uh, confidential and secret and we don't want to branch that out to the public in the fear of vandalism and, uh, and everything else can I skip in front of you Dave or just brilliant cheers It's uh, now 11 o'clock at night, and uh, we've hardly done any of it. So. Sorry, mate, what's up? It was uh, an air raid shelter for the employees of the Schultz Brothers Company, yeah, but it just seems a bit large for that. I think some of the accommodating work would have happened. Sorry? <laughs> yeah. So possibly living quarters and all then? Is that some of it up there, yeah? Some of it, yeah. But if you look down, you can now see from the floor to the they were the whole way down. Yeah. Look. Yeah, this is where all the seating would have been, guys. This bit is obviously rotted away. You can see all the wood here. But we've got a surviving bits of some stall. Yeah, look at that. Imagine the story that this place could tell. And you're always going to remember the shorts as being brick lined up to the mid part and corrugated at the top. It's got that image. No other air raid tunnel has got that, that image or that look about it. So it will always be uh, what sticks out in your mind about the shorts. Here also we have such a good group of lads uh, and ladies tonight who really appreciate every f aspect of our history in the past. Um, that's fundamental, I think, in uh, in doing what we do. So, just want to say thanks to them all for coming out tonight. It's been a, a really, really good opportunity. So yeah, I love how you still got some of this bench instead of you got a little bit more actually coming up. Lovely.
Taking a detour off to the right hand side. Just needs an air raid siren now, doesn't it? There's obviously doors that lead off each side of these tunnels, and they were for the, uh, the lavatories. You can imagine how many people accumulated down here in the event of an air raid, and uh, they needed uh, facilities for people to use if they needed to go to the toilet, so yeah. Yeah, the same. It's probably something in there they didn't want you to find. Yeah. Yeah. Another exit. Is that a little hole that's... Uh... Have a look. Well, they filled you with concrete. That eye there, it's full of concrete. They actually built the wall out of cement bags and then wet them all. Oh, have they? They all set. But if you look over there, they fit with pumps. Yeah, but the concrete is about here. Oh, yeah, all sure, all look. Along. All the way along. <laughs> Oh wow. Well. So I mean that you filled it right up. Yeah. Shame. Welcome back guys to another part of the video. The light focus keeps going in and out, but uh we're in part of uh the later extension I do believe to the shorts tunnels which uh, was possibly used in around the seventies and eighties. Uh that's just a guess at yet, but I don't know for sure. Because the lighting and it is not great here and it's quite dark. Um, yeah, but there's a lot of old bits of machinery left behind. Um, the old ventilation ducts lined above. We've got other little sub rooms here with storage units as well. So, uh, then you've actually got, if I just head through here, the up very, very old entrance where people used to come in and that is the entrance of how people used to get into the shorts tunnels before it was sealed up so yeah just some of the other rooms here guys it's um it opens up big time uh these rooms when you get into it just got some of the other guys doing light painting down the end I'll wire it up here. I'll walk you down the other one actually, uh, that we've just come from, because there's a bit more uh, stuff down there, old filing cabinets and um, racking that probably would have been used for parts of the uh, manufactured machinery that was here. These are so big, these rooms, they really give a sense of like an old railway tunnel. Uh, I've got quite a powerful torch and it's not even coming close to lighting up the whole room. So uh, that's the sense of scale and depth to these rooms. Here is a, yeah, all the old uh, racking areas and stuff. Old filing cabinets left to rack and ruin. Through that tunnel uh, and into the mid part of it is a lot of the old plans uh, for machine parts that were manufactured uh, and unfortunately they've all just been burnt out so yeah a real shame but that's what happens when the wrong kind of people get down here looks like we've got Dave and Brian down the end having a little look about Nope. That's, that's the lift in there. Oh yeah? Let's come and have a look. So I had to move the camera out of the way because our lights were conflicting. Do you 
go through the primary remote, there's a little door that lets you get to the door. Oh, see, this is in there, that's all like what looks like the plant room. Well, if you look, there's two big ass doors there that go through the plant room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. If you go through, you can look through the shaft, otherwise, you've got to climb through and go around the back. Oh, like through there, yeah, and there's a ladder. Well, no, it doesn't go through. Oh, the ladder don't go nowhere. Wow, look at that. Did you see that? Sure, look at how big that is, guys. It's a bit of a tight squeeze around here, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not the skinniest of blokes. Look at all the boxes here, guys. I ain't getting through that. Put your hand up on there and just put your leg up. Right. <coughs> Over we go. That's nice. I've seen one of them before in uh, Henley's. What's this here though? Is that what I stand on? Yeah. Fucking hell, are you sure? Yeah, something's in there. I don't want you getting in there, no, for sure. Big old doors, guys. What's behind the big old doors? I'm basically climbing up uh, what I can only describe as some sort of generator. And uh, yeah, I'm not the most agile of people. Where's that lead to? Is that another way out? I'm going to start the thing up in a minute. Yeah, I don't know. To me, that looks particularly tall for way out. That looks like another one. Sure, guys. Well, that was an insight. <laughs> Some of the racking. Blower Knox was the company that was used here last before it was closed. Uh, hence the reason that this is, uh, what well, I believe this is the newest, most modern part of the Shorts Tunnels. Again, it was used up until the 90s, but there's a good chance that most of the uh, most of the occupation took place here in and around the 70s and 80s and continued right through to the 90s. So after then, Blower Knox. Um, obviously relocated um, their business and and the shorts tunnels become forgotten so yeah let's just take you around to the other part <laughs> that's how we entered the uh, the old part Dave, can you do me a favour and shine your head torch up there just to get a sense of how large that is up there? Yeah, so there's just tunnels leading off in all directions here, guys. They all come to blocked entrances, um, but still, it's a nice, more modern part of the tunnels and... Uh, it evidently played a role in our history regardless so yeah great to document still